here with Risha Hi. and Greg. All right, let's just let's just get business out of the way first. Can you just say proper like five times in a row? Proper, 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 proper. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. All right, so. So tell me what it's like leaving before the jury, getting to watch the show. I know from our conversations, I know you didn't really watch it until like very late into the season, right? What was it like? Uh, you know, it was it was fun to watch everybody for sure because I'd been here. Uh, it was still tough though mm -hmm. because I went out so early and I really just wanted to play the game and saw comps going on and I was like, oh, I wish I was in that, but it was great. It was a, it was a very entertaining season. I definitely feel like there's a difference between the way Risha went out and the way you went out. You know, like Risha didn't really have a fair shot. You kind of had all the time in the world and just like basically pissed everyone off. Um, have you thought about that? Like, do you wish you would have done things differently? Um, I own who I am, man. So like, I, I loved my game. Uh, I would do a lot of things different. I know I'm not wired to win Big Brother, but to like come in here and I wanted to play for the fans, cause some trouble. I did that, so yeah, you know, I own it, and it was a great time. I had a great, I had a blast doing the whole thing. Risha, there were so many twists this season. Uh, tell me about what you thought about the season. You were the victim of one, kind of. Did you feel like there were too many this season? Do you feel like, you know, it should be more of a pure game? Um, I think the twists make for very entertaining television. I think for people who want to play Big Brother, it creates a huge challenge because it makes it more difficult to strategize and have alliances. Um, for me, in a perfect world, I think an All-Stars or another season, even period, would be great to just have a pure, mm -hmm. raw mm -hmm. HOH POV, that's it, nothing else. Um, but I mean, you know, twist those twist. Yeah, it was, it was great television. So, I mean, that's pretty much. Merck, I'll give you the uh, ultimate, sorry to jump in there, but I'll give you the ultimate, um, in my opinion, Big Brother um, experience. They should do a hybrid between what the USA does and Canada and uh, UK, Australia. So one week the fans would vote, one week would be a competition, one week fans won a competition, and so on and so forth. I think that would be ultimate. Then you have fan interaction and you have competing in the house for comps. I think that would be a pretty cool setup. It would be, definitely. I agree. Yeah, I like it would be great television to do something like that as well. And it hasn't been done before either. And Canada likes to do things that hasn't been done before. So, Risha, tell me what you think about this like final two. First of all, what was your reaction when Godfrey decided to cut Ashley? Because I was just like, what are you doing, man? Like, Sarah's got Brittany and she's got all these other votes on the jury. Were you surprised? Well, we didn't know who the final two were until we came out on the stage at finale. Um, but yes, it was shocking to see that he had cut Ashley. But after talking with uh, Godfrey, he had his reasons. And one thing about Big Brother is when you're in the moment and you're in that thought, it's yours. And y it was his decision. Um, you know, now this morning, seeing that he would have won, um, if he'd taken Ashley, that sucks. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That would be a hard nugget to chew on. But he stands by what he did, and he feels good that he sat beside Sarah. And that's all that matters. If he feels good about it, then good for him. Greg, what did you think about that decision? Terrible decision. Um, Godfrey's a studier of the game. He saw what John did to Netta. Um, it was kind of the same situation. Not, not the same, but he... He should have known that Sarah was going to win. And the vote was a landslide. It was 7-2, to two, uh, 8-2, to two actually, if you count the JP vote that got uh, eliminated. I thought it was a bad decision. Um, he played a great, great game, Godfrey, but the decision in the end, he definitely should have taken Ashley. I think he would have won the, the 100 grand. Um, not to slight his game, because his game up until that point, I thought was one of the most unorthodox best big brother games played um, in Canada for sure and I don't even think we've seen a game quite like it in big brother North American history so uh, loved his game I think it's very underrated underappreciated but the decision was definitely uh, not the right decision at the end in my opinion who would you have voted for if you were on the jury between Godfrey or Sarah mm -hmm. If I was in the house playing, I'm, I'm guessing I would probably have voted Sarah. 
Greg? That's such a tough question for me because I worked with Godfrey for, I he wasn't part of the chop shop, but we had a really close relationship for the short time I was in the house. Looking back on it all, um, I thought Sarah played a brilliant game. Um, again, in Big Brother history of Canada, I think it's right up there with the Jillian win and the John win. I think Sarah can rank herself right at the top of Big Brother Canada. I would have voted for Sarah. Um, I'm, that was just me leaving the house at the time. If I would have stayed longer and worked with Godfrey, my decision might have been different. I, I love Sarah's game. I loved her game. Uh, what's next for you, Risha? <sighs> well, right now I'm just trying to adjust to being back out on the real world. Um, but you never know. I mean, I'm looking for a career change. I've worked in restaurants for 20 years, so I'd, I'd like to definitely do something different. And uh, yeah, who knows, right? Anything's possible. What about brown guys with glasses? <laughs> I mean, you, you've, got, you've got both options here, you know, right? Always options, okay. eh, Mercy? Okay. I like it, yeah, I like it. Options. Greg, what's next for you? Uh, what's up for me next? Uh, what I think Big Brother should do is create um, a bachelor pad of Big Brother style. So let's call it the Big Brother crib. Okay, uh, we'll get up in the Big Brother crib with myself and Andrew Gordon and Paul and all the crazy, Risha, all the crazy and wild Big Brother. And I can't wait to... Uh, Paul would be amazing. It would be awesome. And I can't wait to uh, approach John tonight and... Uh, Recruit him. Yeah, uh, no, no, I mean John Brunson. The, and like totally uh, pit, pit, pitch this whole uh, scenario to him because I think it would be absolutely great. You, Big Brother already has its uh, following. So this could be a huge uh, spin-off of Big Brother, Bachelor Crib, get all the crazy people in there, whether it's relationships, whether it's competitions, whether it's Canada Votes, you could have a huge show with it. Um, let's do it. That's what's next for the Ginger Ninja. Okay. Uh, okay. And that would be good TV. All right, that would so be really good TV. I'm thinking, Greg, I'm going to give you the mic here, and you let's can stay it. sitting, but I'm hoping you can just give me your like exit speech to this interview, because you cut like, my favorite speech yeah. on leaving of the whole season. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Here we go. Greg, the, the floor is yours. So, sorry. So, okay. you want me to do so merch? Basically, basically... I'm interviewing you? No, no, no. You're exiting the interview. So, okay. pretend you're in the Big Brother house. You just got, got you. evicted, except instead of Big got Brother, it. you're exiting this got interview. Got it. Okay. okay. Got it. By a vote. Of 100 to 0, Greg, you have been eliminated from the Big Brother house. <laughs> Ginger Ninja 604, proper. Best. Walk off. Drop the mic.